uh, what Senator Cruz is doing is he's waving this flag. Neil, and he's saying, hey, what is the alternative here in fighting for our economic liberty in the United States of America? What his colleagues, too many of them are doing, they're waving this flag. And they're saying, oh, let's surrender until we win. That's their tactic. This is nonsense. More power to Senator Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, others who are standing up for what they campaigned upon, and that was to do whatever they could do, seize whatever tool that they had. In this case, the tools are in the legislative branch, the purse strings, getting rid of the socialized health care coverage policy of Barack Obama's. Um, your, your old running mate, John McCain, said it will be a cold day in Arizona when we defund Obamacare, a very cold day. In fact, it may be a, a snowstorm. You all but call it a waste of time, Governor, saying, I know how this movie ends. I don't know all the scenes before it ends, but I know how it ends, and we don't defund Obamacare. What do you think of that? Well, I think anyone who wants to wave that white flag right now in, in, in this battle for economic liberty in America is forgetting what America was built upon. America was built upon those willing to say, politically speaking, hey, I'm going to do what's right for freedom, for liberty, uh, and if I die, I die. That's what Senator Ted Cruz is doing right now. Do you think he's standing up there in this quasi-filibuster, do you think he's going going to see as a result of this, oh, the big name contributions coming, just pouring into his coffers and, you know, the big political architects who've screwed so many things up lately, like, you know, Karl Rove and, and Dick Morris and these guys who, who have um, tried to change the Republican Party into one that would just go along to get along as a bunch of sheeple in order to appease President Obama and some of these who want to transform America. No, Senator Cruz isn't going to see that as a result. But what he will see, whether he dies, politically speaking, upon this mountaintop or not of his, is the, the heart and soul of Americans who care about this country and the future of our economic liberty. We will be standing there having his back, doing all that we can to support him and thanking him for being willing to fulfill his campaign promises. Are you surprised, Governor, the... The resistance he's encountering within his own party reports that Senator Mitch McConnell was trying to block the kind of thing that he's doing right now. Other so-called mainstream Republicans who are saying it's a bad idea that they're dragging uh, the, the Ted Cruz's and the like, the party to inevitable defeat. What do you say? Am I surprised that those within the GOP establishment, that machine, would turn on one of their own? who has a record and previously at least a reputation for standing up strong on the planks and the platform, that being freedom and capitalism and, and, and economic uh, uh, equality and, gosh, reward for work ethic, all those things that are the planks in the Republican platform. Am I surprised that rhinos would turn on one who would stand strong on those planks? No, because many of us have lived through that. We've come out stronger, I think, and being able to hold our head up higher, even though perhaps we're in a different place politically speaking, because that machine does control so much, of course, in, in the political arena in America. But no, no, I am not surprised. Um, so when Steve Schmidt, obviously John McCain's 2008 campaign strategist, said Republicans have to be careful of this type of asininity. Um, do you think he was taking a slap at you, at, at Cruz, at, at Lee, at all of these guys? I don't know what the heck Steve Schmidt and his crew have been saying lately. I, I don't know about that comment. But, uh, you know, I don't like anonymous sources at all. And I think that it really um, allows this degradation of, of the journalistic um, ethics that we once had in this country. Well, he you did know, say that. He, 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 he did say it. He put his name behind it and said it on, on MSNBC. And but that's fine. So I'm going to make the point, though, about anonymous sources being used, though, that um, Steve Schmidt has been a part of, though. And, you know, there, there's dots that can be connected back to him and his ilk that uh, have allowed that. Journalists need to quit using these anonymous sources. So I won't be anonymous in making a statement about the, uh, John McCain, though, and the campaign that I participated in with him. John McCain disrespected those who, at the end of the game, running the campaign, started turning on Republicans who were standing up for the right things. I know John McCain. He, we have spoken about this, and I don't think that he will be 
hurt or harmed uh, that uh, I am speaking publicly about what he has told me. He disrespects those people who use anonymous sources to attack their own. He has told me that. So Steve Schmidt and his crew, especially, and yeah, granted, Steve Schmidt, this time he allowed his name to be attached to another besmirking comment about uh, another Republican. But when those having used anonymous sources are elevated and um, continue to get to be cited as sources, well, I joined John McCain in dismissing them and saying, journalists, quit using them. But still, you and the senator are clearly not on the same page regarding this, and I wonder whether it's as, it has taxed your relationship. We're not on the same issue when it comes to what Ted Cruz is doing in trying to defund Obamacare. Um, there are certainly things that John McCain and I do agree on, though, and that is that, uh, doggone it, Barack Obama is our president, and we would have been better off um, and not uh, being able to uh, be in the position that we're in now with a, a doubling of our, our debt and the deficits that continue to reach about a trillion dollars a year and all those things that Barack Obama and his minions are continuing to lead us towards bankruptcy. It's horrible. So John McCain and I agree on that. Um, you know, you've been very vocal about this, Governor, and you've been really risking a, a great deal of, 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 of prestige with the moderates within the party. But by saying and speaking out as strongly as you have, uh, some would read into that, maybe I would read into that, um, that maybe you're running for, for president. Are you? That maybe I'm running for president? Yeah. I'm up here in Alaska raising a family, running some businesses, you know, just wrapping up moose hunting, doing a lot of uh, productive things on a personal level and um, not uh, thinking about 2016 in terms of who's going to be the next GOP candidate. But hey, you talk about moderates in the party. Here we go, Neil, about the parties. People talk about maybe a need for a third party. I dare say we already have a third party. We've got the liberal Democrats. We've got the GOP machine, and then we've got the good guys. That's the third party. Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, Rand Paul, some of these guys are working so extremely hard for, again, standing strong on at least what used to be the planks in the Republican platform. That's the party. Those are the players in a party whom I will support. It sounds like you're inching away from the Republican Party, at least as we knew it. I've that always you're more been very, to these very guys. independent. I've always been very independent up here in Alaska. It's why I'm not in the good graces of the Alaskan political party, perhaps, uh, when it comes to uh, Republican machinery up here. Um, I, I've had to fight them. I've, I've taken on sitting Republican governors, mayors, others who were not serving for the right reason, Neil. And the right reason, it, it's simple. It is so simple. It's you listen to the people. You do the will of the people. You stay strong and committed to what it is that you, you promise to do for the people. And uh, then, you know, don't, don't be surprised if, if people turn on you and say nasty things about you. You know, you thicken up your skin and you stand strong and, and you carry on. Again, again.